What's happening? I'm family-friendly comedian Paul Chowdhury in the heart of London on the hottest day of the year. It's been described as hotter than Los Angeles. Los Angeles, the home of Hollywood, which employs some of the most depraved, disgusting bastards that roam the face of this earth. Not too dissimilar to this shithole. An arse pincher has brought down Parliament. Let's clean up the mess that Boris has left behind before I go on my campaign trail. I want to find out what the public actually want. Hashtag PC for PM. Thank you. Thank you. Paul Chowdhury. I'm here with Sam from Stratham Hill and Laura Emily from Kingston, Jamaica. Why not, man? Bombo Clark. <laughs> I'm here with Sam, Greg Tafe from Pool in Dorset. Dorset very well known for white people. And beaches. Beaches and white people. Did you say bitches? If I was to run for prime minister, what would you want me to change? There aren't a lot of garbage cans around. There was a party called the IRA, and they used to leave bombs in the bins. Oh, okay, so, well that's smooth. So they got rid of the bins. We can put them back if you want. I can maybe make that request. But looking like this, it might not work. How have you found the political situation of England? Why not been going on? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, absolute shambles. It's just messed up, man. Um, the guy's having parties and everyone's dying. What's going on? He's got three kids with him. <laughs> Hopefully all his. He's obviously supplying them to Parliament. <laughs> Who would have thought an arse pincher would have brought down Parliament? <laughs> That dirty <laughs> sword of band that. Great. You ever pinched anyone's ass at work? Nah, never mind. Never. You wouldn't say on camera though, would you? What is going on with this shit? What changes do you want in the future? More uh, free shit. More free shit. Uh, less bump pinching. If we were to bump pinch, we would ask you first. Just do better than Boris. Literally, that's like the only thing that one could be said. Are you fans of Boris in Australia? He reminds us of our old Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, who's no longer Prime Minister because of the same mistakes Boris made. He's the brother of Mark Morrison, isn't he? Yeah, he did a song called Return of the Mac about 20 years ago. Remember that one? No. Hey. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. For seeing people off. My view is he should never have got rid of Boris Johnson. There's no one of his stature left in Parliament. Yeah, but look who he was up against. Who? Exactly. What will Rishi Sunak do? Well, what, I think Rishi will... Sunak should sort out the mess the last Chancellor left behind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and were you on that one, mate? Now, if I was to run for Prime Minister, yeah. Yeah. what would you want me to do to improve the situation of this shithole? Give me money. <laughs> Give me more money. More for, money. For pensioners. And let's face it, us Indians put more money than you lot ever did. You are. He said us Indians put more money in than you lot did. So there we have it. We found out what the British public want in a professional, consensual manner. Not like some of those dirty Kanjur Sura Panch or they're working in that dirty Peshaw place. Vote for me. Hashtag PC for PM on my campaign trail.